If you choose to use the Canvas Gradebook, you'll need to determine if you plan to use a flat point-based gradebook or a weighted gradebook. You'll notice in this particular example, I've chosen a weighted gradebook. And you can see that because in my course, under the Assignments tab, you'll notice that um, I've set up group weights, uh, as I've done in a previous uh, video. And I can see what those group weights are and how those assignments are calculated by cyclically uh, collecting the uh, sprocket tab and then I can see that I have a category called non-grading assignments at 0%, research paper at 20% of the uh, final grade, and so on until it reaches uh, 100%. Um, my Canvas gradebook is inextricably linked between grades and uh, assignments and grades. And so we're going to take a look at uh, an example of some of those uh, grades in the Canvas gradebook. Um, I just want to point out that um, you don't need to have an assignment submitted to you online in order for you to use your Canvas gradebook. Uh, you can simply use your Canvas gradebook as a record keeping mechanism. So you can see that uh, I've uh, gone into the gradebook and I'm looking at all the students in my class. I'm in quarter one of uh, my gradebook and I can see the first assignments of the uh, World War II source analysis. Uh, if I slickly, simply clicked, click into the assignment, I can give uh, the student, Ms. Jones, a score. And as soon as I do, and I click elsewhere, you'll notice that because this assignment was associated with uh, the first major research project, this research grade, uh, the weighted grade will uh, show up as well. And as soon as um, I associate this, uh, submit your topic for approval, and give it a grade, let's say, of uh, 25, you can see that uh, because this is a 25 out of 50 and this is again associated with the rated category of the research paper um, that will show up online. So you can use your Canvas gradebook uh, as a way to simply keep track of grades and make those grades available to students. Um, I'm going to just point out a couple of things uh, before we start taking a look at some of the other settings in the gradebook. Uh, you'll notice that you can switch to different grading periods. And I'm going to point out um, again that in my assignments tab that I have this research paper. And in this research paper, I, I have a number of assignments associated with it, including submitting the topic for approval and the first draft. And you'll notice that all the due dates that I've uh, situated will also show up here. Uh, the reason why I'm sharing this is because you'll notice that some of these assignments, like the causes of the Great Depression and submit your short paper proposal, will start to show up in a different quarter because um, that's when uh, that assignment uh, has been proffered. Um, and just like before, when I give this a score, you'll notice that as soon as I do, uh, the corresponding uh, category uh, will show up as uh, well. Um, in the next video, we'll take a look at how you can look at individual grades for a student um, and uh, some of the uh, settings that you want to consider as you work with grades. This is simply uh, to provide an overview of how you can use your uh, gradebook to provide uh, and keep track of grades.